As a coach, are you a lion, otter, beaver, or retriever? Today we're gonna find out. Be strong. Be strong. Ooh. I'm pretty sure at some point you've taken one of those formal personality profiles, whether it be the DISC profile or the Myers-Briggs or any one of the number of other ones. And although they're all good um, and can bring value, uh, oftentimes they're just a little too complicated for me. Uh, whether or not you're an extrovert, introvert, what, you know, all those different things, way too much to keep up with. And so uh, my college football coach exposed me to the Gary Smalley personality profile and it's a simple test uh, you're either a lion an otter a beaver or retriever and I'm gonna put the link for the test in the description below so make sure you check that out and take it as this is gonna make a lot more sense to you but the four different personality profiles they all have strengths and they all have weaknesses and they're all leaders you can be a leader and be any one of these and so it's Good to know what your strengths and your weaknesses are so that you can make your weaknesses stronger and you can maximize your strengths. So for a lion, I am a hundred, almost 100% lion. Uh, I know that, that sounds like it's a powerful thing, uh, but probably one of the, the weakest um, parts there is. Uh, strengths for a lion, they like to take charge. They are problem solvers. They're competitive. They enjoy change and they're often confrontational. Weaknesses, uh, way too direct or impatient, way too busy, or at least feel like they're too busy. Uh, sometimes they can be cold-blooded, uh, they're impulsive, they like to take risks, sometimes a big risk, and it's, a lot of times they're insensitive to others. An otter, strengths for an otter are they're always optimistic, they're energetic, uh, they're great motivators, and they're oftentimes future-oriented. Their weaknesses are that they are unrealistic, uh, they're a daydreamer, they're impatient, uh, sometimes can be overbearing, uh, they can be a manipulator or pushy, and they avoid details and uh, often lack follow through. Retrievers, those are your coaches that are, that are warm and relational, uh, they're loyal, they enjoy routine, you take them out of the routine and it messes up their whole world. They're a peacemaker, they're sensitive, uh, in a positive way. But sometimes that brings about they track the hurting. Beats are seeking them out if they're trying to get past looking for a bleeding ear. They miss opportunities at times because they, they, they want security and stability. Uh, oftentimes stay in a rut. They sacrifice their own feelings and they easily get hurt or hold a grudge. For the beaver, the beaver's strength is that they're accurate and pre precise. They have uh, great quality control, they're discerning, they're analytical. Um, all things that I'm not as a coach. Weaknesses, they are too critical or too strict. Um, they're too controlling, they're too negative uh, towards new opportunities and they often lose the big picture um, when you're thinking. They can just be so dialed in on a specific thing. So um, all these coaches are great coaches and uh, each of us will have degrees of each one. But however, one of those is what you truly are. And so if you've taken the test and you've balanced out, well, then you probably weren't honest. And so what I would recommend is that you have somebody else take the test as well for you. Uh, answer one, somebody that knows you well, my wife or, or your wife or husband, take the test. And a lot of times that will help you differentiate what you truly are. Early in my career, I felt like because I was a lion, I wanted to hire other lions. Um, but as we can all know, like when you put two lions in a cage, oftentimes they're gonna fight and uh, it's gonna be a challenge. And so managing uh, lions is tough. And so oftentimes it comes down to being um, who's you know the chain of command or who's gonna be the biggest voice in the room or whatever it is. Early in my career, I hired multiple lions um, and we had our knockdown drag outs and it was um, ultimately I was either going to always be the biggest voice or I was going to, you know, I could play that I was the head strength coach, but that's just a, a positional leader at that point. And uh, it's not the type of leader that you ultimately want to be. What I had to do is I had to learn to hire for my weaknesses. When you're a head coach, you get to hire for your weaknesses. So I make it a point now to make sure that I always have a beaver on staff, that I always have a retriever on staff and that I always have an otter. 
uh, I need to make sure that I'm surrounded with people that their strengths are my weaknesses and they make me better and challenge me in those areas to continue to grow. And when they leave, they've left me a better coach. Super, super important. When you're a young coach, you have to develop all of your skills. Uh, just because I'm you know, a lion doesn't mean that I can completely abandon details or the ability to create energy. When you're taking job interviews, it's, it's important for you to learn what the last person was. You know, not just their credentials, not just their experience. Um, oftentimes, those things are not going to differentiate you in a crowded space. You're going to have to learn what their personality was like. You know, if you go into that interview and the, the last coach uh, described that person as somebody that was always bouncing off the walls and they couldn't stand it, they couldn't manage them, um, then you probably don't want to be an otter in that interview if you want that job. Um, but more importantly, I think it's important for you to go in knowing that you have strengths and weaknesses. And if you're not put in positions where you're, you can maximize your strengths and work on your weaknesses, oftentimes as a young coach, that's going to be catastrophic. So uh, you have very, just as much of an obligation uh, to go into these interviews and turn down roles that you just aren't simply fit for. Um, early on, I can, see, I can see you taking different types of jobs and growing and working on your weaknesses, but you have to have that kind of um, mindset where you're working on skills and constantly be challenging yourself to improve in those areas and know that by doing that, it's going to pay off dividends in the long run. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, if it has been, please subscribe and hit the like button as that helps me continue to help as many coaches as I possibly can. Uh, I'd also love to hear in the comments what you are, which one of those personality types you were, and maybe some of the, the stories or the, um, the challenges that you face as that type of personality profile in coaching. As always, get out there and continue to help your athletes become the best version of themselves.